welcome to Story Guide Forum. Today we're going to be uh, learn how to analyze zinc oxide. Actually, based on the question, what we have here, the sample D is a zinc oxide. We are going to be analyzing it. So, how do we do this? So, we have a basic test. So the question says this is a sample of inorganic compound. Carry out the, the flowing test on D. Record your observation and inference. Now, um, based on the test, if you, if the first one said D plus dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute hydrochloric acid, when you add dilute hydrochloric acid, you find out that the, the compound is what? Soluble. Soluble in hydro, hydrochloric acid. Now, we divide into two portions. Into two portions. That means, since it's soluble in hydrochloric acid, it means that um, it means that what it means that the inference means that the 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 ion there is what soluble soluble chloride soluble chloride. Now why is it chloride? Because whatever we have here that we don't know reacted with this chlorine uh, hydrochloric acid to give us another compound which must be chloride. That is giving us soluble chloride chloride ions present and it also means that lead is absent it also means that lead there is no lead in this compound okay lead or lead ion lead ion is what absent so what is likely to be there soluble chloride of um, calcium ion zinc ion a million ion even uh, we know that sodium ion is also soluble all of them are what soluble and so on and so forth because likely present so um we have uh, all these things we think about soluble ions Soluble chloride, that means everything that should be here now means that since it's hydrochloric acid, it means that everything here is likely to be soluble um, chloride. And it means that lead ion is not there because lead has insoluble chloride, which is uh, always white. Lead chloride is always insoluble. So, so the next one he said to the second first portion, add dilute sodium hydroxide. On adding dilute hydrogen sodium hydroxide, what you have here was is a uh, in adding it in drops in drop then how will I put this one now? Yeah, then in excess I miss it. Then in excess, then in excess insoluble in drops insoluble in drops and soluble in in excess soluble in excess which means for the fact we have a uh, insoluble and insoluble in excess meaning that we are likely to have aluminium ion um zinc ion we can also have a uh, um, Yes, zinc ion and some other ones which I cannot really remember at the moment. Likely, likely present. Likely present. Now, lead is not likely to be here since we know that this will, from the first one, we find out that we did not have anything insoluble there. So, meaning that lead is not there. The possible one that's likely to be there is what? This and that. So, so the next one, aqueous ammonia, also in drops, in drops, then in excess, then in excess, when you add aqueous ammonia, you have a um, insoluble, insoluble. Jalentinos, ah, that's what I mean there. 
it looks like gel. Gelatinous precipitates. Gelatinous precipitates. Um, soluble in in excess that confirm the presence of zinc ion. And this other one will also give us insoluble gelatinous precipitate to, to give us insoluble gelatinous precipitates, which is soluble in SS. Now, um, aluminum will give us insoluble um, I compound with aqueous ammonia, and then this soluble compound will be insoluble in excess aqueous ammonia. The same thing will be soluble. So that is how we can uh, identify it. And another thing I want to say here is that another thing about zinc, zinc, zinc compound is that on heating, on heating it, on heating it, especially zinc oxide, on heating it, it turns what yellow when it's very hot and white when it is cold. And most zinc compounds, they are all white powder. Some of them might be crystals. Most of them are what? White crystals or white powder. So um, you should also note that. And, and from here, we've been able to find out that with these two sodium, dilute sodium hydroxide and aqueous ammonia, we'll be able to identify what um, zinc ion. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you leave your comments and share all together.